this this segment is going to be how to do a serious no buy because as you know I have been on one hell of a serious no buy husband retired so his pension is half of what his paycheck was I retired at the same time he wasn't counting on that <laughs> after 20 years that's burnout uh, so when your income shrinks so does your spending so stay within your budget or you can't sleep at night so I wrote down a few things that has been working for me um, we'll go through them how to do a no buy first of all is make a budget write it out I never do that though but it's I hear it's very important <laughs> write down what your income is then write down what your expenses are you know like your rent if you're still paying that luckily my rent mortgage is over um, that's why we were able to retire um, a thing that'll help you with that is pay more than what's due and your principal will shrink and when you're old you're gonna be real happy you did that uh, anyway write it down write what your fixed expenses are and then you'll see what's left over to see, you know I don't know if you're supposed to save when you're old but god I don't want to go through all my reserves uh, when we do get into the 401k thing I think we're gonna do I think it's a 4% figure that you can um, suck out and it leaves the principal alone but boy in interest rates are really low right now what's the next thing pay bills and look at your bank balances so I just brought this and I go oh I have spent this much and I balanced and so I'm doing okay but I know in my head what bills are gonna be due because I keep them all clipped together so I know about what I've spent you know what I've charged and so it's good to know what you've spent uh, know what bills are gonna come due that are the big ones like your property insurance your taxes uh, you know property taxes income taxes if your car is gonna need tires I hate buying motor oil I'd much rather buy lipstick but you know watch the times of year when those big ones come in uh, oh here's a good one shop with your husband you know, I know Tammy hates shopping with her husband but if you go if you're terrible in the grocery store and buy things that you don't really need like chips uh, if you go with your husband unless he eats them uh, mine doesn't um, usually uh, <laughs> uh, you're way less gonna spend money on what you shouldn't like if I'm in Ulta or something and he's waiting for me in the car I kind of run through or if I'm we're headed for somewhere in a mall or a department store pretty much I'll follow him he'll let me look at stuff but I'm looking while I'm my feet are moving so uh, if you shop with your husband you'll spend less if you shop with a friend you spend more because they enable you just like oh don't watch YouTube I, I'm never gonna not watch YouTube I love you guys too much I love your comments and I love to watch you but we're enablers it's like you know if you were a druggie and you and you get out of jail and then you hang out with your druggie friends or you're an alcoholic and you hang out at the bar well anyway I bought I bought most of my stuff because of YouTube it makes me want it and then well they have it why can't I have it they look like me you know we look like you know like I could afford it um, shop your stash and look for dupes um, let's see why do I have buying and some colors say oh huh. same colors because uh, you're always buying the same colors so shop your stash I did that today um, I went into this bag I've been throwing stuff in because I wanted to clean out my drawers and just you know use what I'm using all the time and I didn't like these and I was like why did I buy them well now I like them I got the makeup forever diamond shadow number 312 well for some reason I decided I didn't like it I thought oh, it's too sparkly well now I like sparkle after everybody's showing me that daggone Tom Ford quad cognac sable sable cognac anyway I don't want it so I pulled that out and well I've got the sparkly part and when I read up its reviews they aren't that great um, and then I got you know in my bag I found my number 309 diamond shadow and so that's a purple so I'm gonna oh I should swatch them for you just because it's fun oh uh, yeah I put my light so hopefully you can see 
and I kept a Kleenex. So this is the sparkly gold. So anyway, that was fun. Let's get my, see I'm holding up a long time now because I was getting my Kleenex. All right, what's another thing? Clean out your drawers and your stash and you'll find things that you forgot about. Do I have anything? Well, those guys. But anyway, it's amazing when you clean out your drawers, you know, and you want to dust them or whatever, which I haven't done. Uh, it's kind of amazing what you find. Things that you completely forgot about. Uh, another word, one is don't go into stores like Sephora, Ulta, and, you know, the Nordstrom department, makeup department. Because you're just going to want it. And the salespeople are trained to make you want it. And just remember, remember your bank book. So if you're able to look at it and watch YouTube and just use it as entertainment and, oh, I've got that brown color. I'll try that. And um, maybe that'll work for you. Let's see. What else have I been doing? Uh, use cash only. That's another, you know, if you, if you can't remember what you got in here and what you got stacked in your bill pile, um, take your spending money out in cash. And when, you, when that's gone, you're done. You can't spend any more that month. Uh, yeah, stick to your shopping list. When I go to the grocery store, if I've written down milk, eggs, you know, and then I have a funny recipe that needs some asparagus or something that I don't have, or uh, like say heavy whipping cream, Tammy, um, I stick to my list. If I go up and down the aisles, oh, I need these cookies. Well, I don't because I bake, but, um, <laughs> oh, I could bake these cookies. <laughs> That's trouble too. So, um, stick to your shopping list. Um, cash only. Oh, oh, my daughter had a great one. Um, let me pull out this. She said, um, go over to your girlfriends and trade things. And you don't have to trade for good, like nail polishes. Like, oh, well, you've got this real pretty neutral color. I've got a blue. Do you want to try the blue? Because, you know, I'm not a big blue, green, black fingernail person. But I'd like to have one. So, you know, if you trade and, you know, for the summer or for a month or for a week or, you know, even if you're just playing together and having tea, you know, and you paint your nails, that's fun. Then you don't have to buy it. You could, you know, just use it. Because really, how many times do you use the same color? I mean, you know, a couple times a year. Well, me, because my stupid fingernails working on that Ecranol again. See, I'll always have to spend it on the Ecranol. That's expensive. So I got to save for that. That's going to be in the budget. Okay, trade. Make it, oh, my daughter makes it a game to finish something. Like, she likes to do back to Mac for me. She's really sweet, she lets me do the back to Mac part. So I've given her like blush, and I think I gave her margin. It's gonna take her a thousand years to finish it, but she will not use any other blush, this is orgasm, but she will not use any other blush until she finishes that margin and you know, was able to give it back to me and then I get her something else. But, um, sometimes she'll wear it to work just lightly and sometimes she'll just make it real thick when she goes out and, you know, so she makes that work. And so then I get to do a back to Mac and I get a real pretty, this is lustering. It looks scary, but let's watch it for you. Oh, it goes with my sweater. Well, anyway, I got that this summer and, um, I was going to say, you know, back to Mac, uh, here's a horrible color. I liked it on the redhead on YouTube. See, there's the problem with YouTube. It looked real pretty on her on YouTube. This is Bronzilla. It's a limited edition. And it, on the redhead in, in the fall, it was gorgeous on her. And it looks prettier on my hand. On me, well, I already got something on. So, but, uh, you know, it just kind of dies. I don't know. There, I've had a few, like, I think there was one called O or something. And it was real pretty. It was real pretty. I swatched it. I put, came home, put it on, and... So that's problems. If you live on the mainland, then you can do your returns. I'm going to wipe it off. Boy, they are pretty on, but lipsticks are goopy. Okay, what else? Make it a game to finish something. Oh, you could write a wish list with the prices down. Well, I write a wish list and, you know, there's my birthday, what I want for my birthday or what I want for Christmas. And usually he doesn't remember, so I order it and say, here, <laughs> give it to me for Christmas. So I have a wonderful little Christmas coming. Um, but that's my no-buy because he had to buy it. Um, what was the other thing I was going to say about that? Oh, <laughs> I don't know where I got this idea. Probably YouTube. 
but you could write down all the things you want and their price is like i am dying for those burberry palettes uh eyeshadow palettes now and i think they're 59 dollars let's just say it it's 60 dollars it's gonna be more with tax and if there no there won't be any shipping because it's over 25 but you know because Nordstrom's good anyway um i'm dying for one of those palettes but if i write it down and go oh i saved 59 dollars Oh, I didn't buy the Lorac Pro palette that I was dying for. Oh, I saved $42. And then you get to line them out when somebody gets them to you for Christmas. <laughs> I'm not getting the Lorac Pro palette. That's the problem. I keep buying the same colors over and over again. Let me show you. First off, I had, let's see enough if I can remember. I think this is number 14, 17. This is number 17. I bought the Makeup Forever aqua cream in number 17 let's see if it's you can see anyway it's this beautiful sparkly burgundy ready sort of color well then youtube said i needed you know chanel he bluey oh let's swatch him now it's a different complete moussey so there's a justification it's a different texture plus i love that and then the makeup forever let's take my other finger it's very soft and it's oh it's several years old it's still soft even though it's in plastic and i haven't had to heat it up yet they're different but hey if you put it on your eyes and especially if you wear glasses i mean who's going to come up to you and say oh you've got the makeup forever oh you've got the chanel on they were pretty similar um i could put a redder eyeshadow over that one because don't we always put something on top Let's see, what else have I got? I showed you this in the last video, my limited edition um, MAC Prim and Proper. And I had to go out because everybody was talking about and it was just a good everyday uh, blush. I had to go out and get the exposed. Now they're a little different. Let's swatch them. But not that much different. Oh, you're not going to be able to see it. So I'm rubbing real hard. Rub right there. Then let's get another finger. And do the well there's okay the prim and proper is a little pinker than the exposed but so what i'm wanting an elf pink passion oh i better wipe this off guess what the um well now i can't tell which one it is i think it's the makeup forever <laughs> does it come off it's really good see even the chanel comes off why do i think that's the opposite i don't remember all right more dupes that you can save money with. Oh, you bought the Coralista? You don't need the orgasm. But, oh, I got this one for free as one of my 500 points, so that was neat. Think how you got the 500 points, Mom. All right, I showed you the lipsticks. I showed you the, oh, okay, here's another one. Wait, let's start. Let's start with the high end. I got the Limitier de Beauté because I asked somebody what is their, it was Jules. Uh, I asked her what was her favorite taupe? Corinthian. Okay, so I got Corinthian. Well, let's swatch that. Oh, it is lovely. Especially if you have blue eyes or green eyes. Brown eyes kind of dies. Okay, oh wait, still doing the high end. Then I got Rouge Bunny Rouge. And I had no idea, but somebody said Delicate Hummingbird is the one to get. Everybody remembers makeup never sleeps, right? Well, there it is next to Corinthian. This is the Hummingbird and that's the Corinthian. It's a little more purple, right? You're gonna be able to tell when I'm walking around and it's all blended out with something else. So then everybody talked about Wet n' Wild Nutty. This is $1.99. Gorgeous color. Well, all three are different, but really, when you wear it blended out, oh, they're gorgeous though. I just wish they showed up with my brown eyes. Okay, on to the next dupe. I hope I have plenty of card here. Um, I had Max Bear Study. Luckily, I had the foresight not to get the, oh, I can't remember the name of it, but it was a color tattoo. Well, Bear Steady is probably $15 by now. It was $14. I don't know. Anyway, 
Uh, the color tattoo is probably under eight, so, you know, get the color tattoo. I got um, Estee Lauder's oh, pink something. This is Double Wear Stay in Place Cream Shadow in Pink Pearl. Well, that's beautiful. I wanted a pink look with brown, you know, do brown in the crease, because that's what the sales lady had on. So there's the pink pearl. It's beautiful. However, yes, they're a teeny bit different, but if you're on a budget, this is if you're on a budget, here's the bear study. This is the pink pearl. Close. Are you going to be able to tell once you layer all that ashes to ashes and rouge bunny rouge and Corinthian? I don't think so. What else? Um, okay, here's one. Chanel Glossomer. I thought, oh boy, I have to have that. I want a pink one. So I got, what did I get? Number 89. Can't remember the name of it right now. Pink something. Anyway, so the beautiful, everybody says, oh, the Glossomers, they're not sticky. I don't know if a gloss, it isn't sticky, but anyway. Well, there it is. I don't see much color. So I think I need their lacs, their lacquer ones. Um, here is Revlon. Oh, this is something luster. Oh, God, why can I not read uh, or remember? Nude luster. And it's a very good color. And it's glossy. And it's see-through. And it's, oh, it's more melon. Are you going to be able to see that on top of a lipstick, really? Um, they look kind of the same. When you have your lipstick on. Um, let's see, and I did the nail polishes, uh, those guys. Oh, these nail polishes. Well, nail polishes are hard because you're not going to carry them around with you and they're not going to have the same colors you have. So which one did I get first? I got Red Lights Ahead Where by OPI. What a fun summer color. Oh, I'm going to put that on my toes. And then I went with my girlfriend to where she got a haircut and they had, oh yeah, and Natalie from Flower Bomb 31. We enable each other horribly. She has the best taste. Even if she's blonde and I'm brown, and she's got blue eyes and I have the brown eyes, that's why I get all those topes. Um, cut, oh God, already something poppy. I forgot the name. Yeah. Come to poppy. Beautiful color. Uh-oh. They sure look kind of alike, and oh, down on my toes. Crap, they look alike. Uh, daughter better get one of those. Okay, so let's move on. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I have Sherman's Lagoon for you guys. I'll read it to you because, you know, copyrights and all that business. And, but Sherman's Lagoon, the lady shark says to her husband, while I was shopping today, something occurred to me. And he goes, what's that? I realized I don't need any more stuff. I was wondering when you were going to hit the wall. What's the point of shopping if you don't buy anything? Good question. And if you do buy something, is it a bargain if you don't need it? Another good one. Do bargains exist in the universe separate from need? Hmm. I'm not sure I can answer that question. It shakes the very foundations of the meaning of life for me. Think, 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 think. While you ponder that, look what I bought. Can't wait. Aren't they cute? I just love Sherman's Lagoon. So, let's, quick, I have to show you what I'm reading, is Agatha Raisin, Agatha Raisin and the Murderous Marriage by M.C. Beaton. And it's another light reading. Um, it's British author, so it, it's not quite so um, predictable as all the ones that I do read. Okay, quickly, face of the day, because... Okay, and I haven't been using the Makeup Forevers for very much, so I pulled out the number. This I didn't have in my reject drawer. Oh, dear. I, it might be 11. Anyway, it's the brown. It's a sparkling kind of brown. Put that on the lid. Oops. And then, like, I watched Pixie Woo, one of the Pixie Woos. I ah, pulled out my... Oh, God, I did this this morning, too. I pulled out my 217 and blended it. Then, because I watched, I wanted those Burberry palettes, I pulled out my Dark Sable and put it on the outside. 
And where did it go? Damn. Oh. <laughs> I pulled out the uh, 312 Diamond Shadow of the Makeup Forever. Because I actually bought these two together. Well, that I'm not opening that one again. <laughs> it wouldn't shut. But anyway, so I put this, this right in the center of the lid. And on my cheeks, I have, I pulled out my Trish McAvoy, uh, whatever that little, you know, you fit in the book. And their blush was called Nude. I like this, but I just, the case was bigger than the makeup I had. This was one I didn't wear much. Um, I think this one is Coconut, and it makes a really good highlight. This one is Tawny, and I use it, these are eyeshadows, I used it on my eyebrows. The mineral powder was foundation beige. And then the lipstick I've got somewhere else. But anyway, so I used this nude. God, do you think I could remember that? And on my lips, oh, come on. <laughs> on my lips, I used Revlon Color Burst Lip Butter in Fig Jam. Let's see, let's, uh, see, it's kind of sheer. Go the right way. Feels good. I hope this thing turned out because this was a long video. I'll edit the heck out of it. I'm going to think of something when I'm done. I'm going to remember some tip when I'm done. I hope a couple of these tips help you out. I still want it all. I want it all really bad. But the word is want as opposed to need. Because I know there's going to be bills coming up. Like finish, you know, I'm going to have to pay 30% of my insurance for my foot and there's the anesthesiologist, the doctor, the hospital, and God knows what else that is involved. Uh, I still have to finish paying for anything I bought or ate in Hawaii because I charged it. So I have to keep that up here. And there was one of the, oh, Christmas. So I got to afford Christmas, which is going to be a lot smaller. I'm going to bake a lot for my sister wants lots of baked goods. I have her buy me something really nice makeup and I don't think it's worth it, but she thinks it is. She loves my baking. Uh, sorry, I bumped the tripod. So I think I better quit for now. And thank you all for joining me. And so until next time, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.